Hi, this is Helen Schaefer Garcia, and I am teaching uh, you how to create this beautiful book, the Illuminated Ledger book. Um, this video will show you how to create the um, patina on the pages in the book. I've extended the hour, the workshop, by three hours uh, because it takes a considerable amount of time to create this patina. So. To get started, you're going to need two sheets of masa rice paper, which uh, is a beautiful rice paper that can accept water media without falling apart. You could also try another type of rice paper, but masa paper is typically what I use. You also will need six sheets of Reeves BFK printmaking paper, or you can use Canson addition paper. You'll need to cut or tear folios that are 11 inches high by 13 inches wide. When you cut the paper or tear it, you'll need to make marks where you want to make the division. And in order to tear the paper, I like to take the ruler and light it up to my marks and then come up to where I'm going to start the cut or tear and give it a little help and then tear towards the ruler. That'll give a nice soft edge to the paper. The next step is to wet the paper. And I'm taking a nice big wide brush and applying water to the surface in both directions. I usually try to moisten the paper for at least 30 seconds in order to make sure that the paper is saturated. Once you have the water covering the surface, you're then going to take ink, which is, uh, I'm using a FW acrylic ink, and I like to use uh, burnt sienna, which is a nice, beautiful brown, and I'm applying a little bit of water to that ink, because I want a real thin consistency. Take the paper and hold it up at an angle, and run the brush along the edge so that the ink runs down onto the surface. If it's too thick or if it's not running, you can take a spray bottle and give it a little help. So you want to avoid any kind of brush making on the paper because you want this beautiful ink to flow on its own. And finally, you're going to take a watered down gray acrylic paint. You could use Payne's gray um, or any other type of gray. You could even uh, put in a few other colors into this, to the mix. I added a little bit of blue to my watered down acrylic. Pick up some of that and do the same process. Drip along the edge so that you get a beautiful addition of a gray. And you can see how the paint is just flowing beautifully across the surface. And again, if you want to make the paint move in a certain direction, take that spray bottle. You could tilt the paper and have the color going in opposite directions. I also will do the same process on this side, starting back with the brown ink and moving it across, and then spraying, and then finally adding gray mix of acrylic. 
it's a messy process, but it's going to really make a beautiful patina across the paper. You'll need to um, complete this process on all your sheets on the front and the back. So I would do one side at a time, set it out to dry, and then go back and wet the other side and complete this process again. Thanks so much. Uh, I look forward to meeting all of you at the workshop. Thanks again.